This video I never thought would happen for a couple of reasons. Number one being Call of Duty Ghosts was such a fucking terrible piece of shit that I just never thought I'd see another game multiplayer wise that was worse than it. The second reason, and for me the most surprising, was Titanfall 2. Having played games for years, usually the second game, in my opinion sometimes the same as the second movie, it surpasses what the first set as a standard. So with Titanfall 2, one would expect Titanfall 2 to be greater than Titanfall, and in every single regard it fails. Here's a classic example. As I run around the corner, I couldn't see that guy. I had to scope in, and then he was highlighted. In Titanfall 2, that doesn't happen. They're highlighted before you've actually reached the fucking corner. So there's going to be a few things I'll point out as we go through this video, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll sort of start to understand why <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost, one of the worst Call of Duties that was ever made, is actually better than Titanfall 2. So as you can see, you zoom in and you can see the highlighted player. Again, I couldn't see that guy up there. I have to zoom in to see the player. So that's a huge thing. Another big thing you'll notice on the screen right now is in the top right hand corner, you've got orange and blue. And note the colors of the orange and blue as well. They're a light color. It's not too distracting from the screen, but they're still orange and blue. Now, when we look at Titanfall 2, we also see a really disgusting orange and blue. One that is actually very similar in color, but just way toned up as far as the vibrancy goes. Now, depending on how you feel, I personally don't like distractions in the middle of my screen as far as like anything goes. So as you can see, we can see these things through the roof. It's probably where Titanfall 2, the shitty developers that made that, got the idea to just let's see everything through the map. In the left of the screen, you can also see the squad points and the squad cards that pop up from time to time. So just here, I want you to note the time to kill. Look how low the time to kill is. This guy runs around the corner, pop, 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 and we're both dead within seconds. Titanfall 2 is very similar as far as the time to kill goes. So... On that regard, again, we've got a pretty similar game. The fact that so far we can only see these things that are orange as far as players go when we're zoomed in is very good. The fact that we can see the ordnance or the whatever you'd like to call these through the walls, that's a fucking frustration. So as the game's usually player versus player, I'll give the loss to this one to Titanfall 2, which means this game, Call of Duty Ghosts, beats Titanfall. A big thing I want you to note in the top right every time it pops up is the scoreboard. Because it's been so long since I've played Call of Duty Ghosts, I actually forget whether when you hit back or select, whatever you'd like to call that button, to bring up the scoreboard, if that needs to be held in to, to view the score, or if you just press it and after you've let go, if it's sort of like a hover with a mouse, it just auto toggles itself away. I personally like the hover, so you press it and hold it in, and once you let go of the button, it disappears. That way you've never accidentally got it left on the screen. I have a funny feeling Call of Duty Ghosts also made it toggleable, so if you press it, it'll stay on the screen. Once you press it again, it'll go away from the screen. Now, as far as the middle of the screen goes, you can see very small white text everywhere as far as the points and these 200 points. They're, they're kind of small. The original Titanfall had very small white text as well, which was very nice. It didn't take up too much room as far as a lot of that stuff went. As you can see in the top right now, we'll come back to the scoreboard again. But with this, um, the white text in the middle of the screen, that's actually really nice because it doesn't take up a huge amount of fucking room. The pickups are centered in the middle of the screen it's clear what you're picking up as far as the weapon goes titanfall 2 this is all very fucked up the text in the middle of the screen when something's happening is just everywhere it's big it's huge as you've killed somebody it actually flashes in a big fuck off thing and makes it bigger as though it's an animation and it's flying at you but then it disappears as it flies past you so imagine you're running on a field or you're standing on a field and some someone throws a ball at you 
It's a bit like that. As the ball gets closer to you, it gets bigger and then it disappears. That's a real fucking annoyance in Titanfall 2 and something, again, the predecessor didn't need. Note again on the left-hand side all these call cards as far as their positioning. They're not huge. They're still there in an annoyance, but they're not as big as Titanfall 2's, which is fucking wonderful. In this game, when you respawn Call of Duty Ghosts, you respawn with all your weapons and grenades and everything as far as that goes. The original Titanfall did the same. Titanfall 2 likes you to spawn with nothing. So you've respawned, you've just used your stealth or your invisibility, and then it's gone. So you can't see it any longer. It's, it's, you can't use it any longer, I beg my pardon. It's just disappeared completely. That in itself is very fucked up. Now, as far as this on the top right hand side goes, note how when the gamer tag was bigger, it actually scrolls left and right. Titanfall 2 doesn't even have the tenacity to make <laughs> that happen. It just sits there and is cut off. So not only in Call of Duty Ghosts do you actually get to see how many deaths you're on, Titanfall 2 you don't get to see the deaths because deaths aren't important apparently to them, even though good players consistently hit the back button and want to view their deaths. Call of Duty Ghosts actually gives you the deaths on screen by default. I'm not a big fan of that. But as you can see, we've come back to the lobby. Now, here's another thing we don't have. See the yellow little speaker symbol to say the yellow someone's talking? This is a lobby where the whole team is, both teams. Now, here's where I've met pretty much everybody I've ever played with online in lobbies. You have a bit of a laugh. You have a bit of a, oh, I'm going to smash you in the next game. I'm better than everybody sort of thing. And yeah, that's, where you, that's the way you meet people. In Titanfall 2, that doesn't exist. You have these lobbies you join and then you can talk with your team there's no actual rivalry before the game no rivalry after the game it's very fucking miserable in all actuality that there is a complete titanfall 2 has done something that i thought no game would ever do and that is remove lobbies and a way to meet people a way to make friends a, a video game has become so bad or EA or whoever it was at Titanfall has made such a shitty decision that they've not only just rendered their game terrible, but they've actually removed the ability for you to meet people, new people, new friends, within their own fucking game. That is how sh a shit company, a shit game works. Again, I've died, I've hit back to sort of see the scoreboards and note the gamer cards are scrolling left and right. I can still see the score, the kills, the deaths and the assists. It's very, very clean and very, very simple. Another big, big thing I actually wish to talk about is the top left hand side, which is your radar, not, not your radar, sorry, your compass as well as your radar and how clean it is. I actually believe Titanfall was perfect. It was nice and small. It, showed you clearly north, west, south, east. It, you can hop in the game and instantly know if somebody says come north, east, exactly where you're going. You can walk exactly that way within uh, a split second, you know exactly where you're going. Now, this game has a very similar kind of thing. The north, west, south, all that stuff's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit harder to kind of instantly tell which direction you're going. And there's no real lines between like the west and the north. It's just a little bit not as well defined as Titanfalls. Now, when we talk about Titanfall 2, <laughs> the radar's a fucking joke. You've got red triangles that go off if a grunt moves or a grunt shoots. You've got red triangles, which just, or cones, whatever you like to call them. The thing's round. It doesn't take up a nice part of the screen real estate that's otherwise useless. It's not clean. At the northwest south aren't as easy to see because obviously it's round so you, you can really only see one maybe two if they're changing directions it's just not nice so as far as this goes and as again you can see here the dots come up as someone's got a radar scanner the dots are coming up their players pretty simple like to know what you're looking at titanfall 2 
they've taken Titanfall's perfect radar system where you could easily define between grunts, minions, specters, players, titans, enemy titans, friendly. You could define everything very easily in Titanfall. And they've made it so fucking complex that you can barely tell what you're looking at unless you're trying to physically pay attention. Now, if you're using something like this all the time, and believe me, good players will consistently jump to the radar or consistently be checking the radar. As I'm running around this building now, I'm reloading, looking at the radar. Okay, someone's there. You're just kind of trying to understand where people are so you're not going to make a silly mistake or you're not going to get flanked by somebody. Like just now, I've made a huge mistake. I should have cleared the area. However, that's not what we're trying to talk about in this game. Another big thing that both Call of Duty Ghosts and Titanfall 2 do is have this massive amount of red on the screen when you get shot. I actually think Call of Duty Ghosts is a little bit better, in my opinion. It goes red, but at least all the other colors stay the same. So you can still see where you are. Notice the rank up, how small it is and how it just flies off the screen. Again, it doesn't really need to fly off the screen. It could just disappear. But Titanfall 2's makes this whole fucking thing come up on the screen. Player is increased rank. Now, granted, you can turn that off but straight out of the box as far as the game goes, that's all on. So you have to think that some people aren't going to know how to go in and turn all that off via the HUD elements or video audio settings and then video and then the HUD settings and just turn everything off in Titanfall 2. So when you get shot in Titanfall 2, you actually go red and everything sort of fades to a black and white. It becomes much harder to identify immediately whether it's a player, a friendly, an enemy, what's actually going on. Like if I was shot now, I probably wouldn't have seen that orange thing in Titanfall 2. In this game, you probably, in the spare of the heat of the moment, you could kind of tell. See, it's it makes you red. Granted, it's a lot of red and it's a frustration, but at least, you know, you've been shot. So that's a huge, huge thing as far as Call of Duty Ghosts beating Titanfall 2 again. There are so many other things, such as in the top left, you can see Swimming Cactus is talking. You can see Ballistic Vests have been dropped by a player. It's clean. It's off to the side. It's not taking up the center of the screen. It's not really taking up anything that I can't see through. There's no real clutter on the screen. It's all... This is very nice to look at. It's not as bad. Call of Duty Ghosts is not as bad as I remembered it, having come back and... <laughs> tried to find some videos after playing Titanfall 2. Had I not played Titanfall 2, I would still think this was pretty fucking average. But again, we're talking about two completely different games. Call of Duty was in... A huge, huge amount of Call of Duties have been released. So Call of Duty Ghosts was well, well into the development cycle as far as you know what they were trying and what they have as far as the basic game build goes so a lot of people think modern warfare 2 was fantastic i actually took a break when modern warfare 2 was out as far as video games went i was off doing other things and i'd played the original modern warfare and loved it so i can't ever specifically myself say modern warfare 2 beat modern warfare but knowing games like halo to beat Halo or, you know, improved on Halo. I imagine Modern Warfare 2 improved on Modern Warfare. So you'd have to think, like, logically, as far as that sort of goes, Titanfall 2 would improve on Titanfall, which didn't happen in any means whatsoever. The game in itself is fucking terrible. I, <laughs> in this video, I, there's so many things as I've recorded this like these random clips again just ran two random games of call of duty ghosts and i've put them together and when i was recording them and trying to crop them down there were so many points running through my head i have i've come back to this video a couple of weeks later and there's just so many things i've forgotten to touch on that i was genuinely really impressed with that this game beats titanfall 2 and I never, ever thought, being a huge fan of Titanfall, one of the biggest Titanfall fans on the planet as far as the actual game play of Titanfall goes, 
that I would ever be saying anything bad about Titanfall 2. I especially never thought I would be making a video about Call of Duty Ghost being <laughs> better than Titanfall 2. When I zoom in with the scope, one of the things you can see is it does blur the background. So in Titanfall 2, you can turn that off. It's aim down sights blur, something along those lines, and you can turn that off, which I have done. Not a big fan of blurring out the rest of the screen when I'm trying to kill one person. Quite often, if you play like me and you're free running around and you're trying to flank, you'll come across two or three players and blurring them out doesn't necessarily mean you're going to kill the one that you need to kill first in order to, you know, kill them all. So again, as we hop in a sort of vehicle in Call of Duty Ghosts, you can see it's pretty clean. There's not really a lot of things on the screen that are cluttering it. You just get in the vehicle doing a little bit of damage. The, the squares of the enemies, pretty straightforward to acknowledge. The players are shooting my griffin or vehicle. They're not doing a ton of damage. If this was Titanfall 2 and a player was shooting my Titan, the Titan would already be dead. And now coming from Titanfall... They had regen shields, they had a lot of fucking, you know, awesome ability to take a ton of damage. You at least had the chance with a pilot or a couple of pilots and a couple of titans firing you. Quite often, I would be an assault player and I would just run, I'd go ham. I'd see a couple of people and I'd just charge them. In Titanfall 2, you can't do that with your titans. You will get wrecked. Basically, two MGL or an amped MGL can do enough damage to completely kill you. Uh, anything as far as like Titans is enough to kill your Titan. You're running around in, I used to call them cardboard Titans, and then I, someone I read somewhere or heard somewhere say paper Titans are a much better depiction, a description. So they are actually paper Titans. And again, you can see here that the game's finished nothing too special this guy gets the kill and as you can see in a second it'll probably go to the scoreboard and we'll be able to kind of see immediately there's the deaths so as far as the scores and everything go you know pretty straightforward we go back to the lobby and in the lobby straight away we're trash talking or i'm talking and then probably saying you know blah 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 you guys are fucking terrible and then someone else will eventually pipe up. So as far as the actual game in itself goes, Call of Duty Ghosts beats Titanfall 2. Now, if that doesn't make Respawn seriously sit back and go, wow, we've made a worse game. Our second game, which in all logical reasoning, in movies, in you know, even TV shows, usually the second season beats the first. In almost everything, albums, music, doesn't matter what we're talking about in life, sex, everything you do, usually the second time, is better than the first. Very, very rarely do humans do something a second time and make it worse. Titanfall 2 is the only thing in recent memory I can think of where it went the complete opposite way. It made it worse in every single regard. There isn't one thing about Titanfall 2 that, you know, improved. They've taken away the three default weapons. So no longer do you have the three default weapons. Instead, now you've just got two. So in Titanfall, for example, where I would flick straight to my pistol if someone was chasing me or I was chasing somebody down, usually they, they've just popped their head through a doorway and you want to catch up to them, you'd flick immediately to the pistol, catch them, switch back to your primary and then finish them off. And then quite often there'd be a Titan nearby. So you'd pull out your Titan weapon and or anti-Titan weapon and you'd start dealing anti-Titan damage. Now, by taking out the default pistol, not only have you taken away the ability to sort of keep up with somebody that might be using stim, but you've taken out the ability to use even more skill, to know that the pistol makes you run a little bit faster, to know that you can catch somebody that's just getting out of the way. Instead, they're trying to rely on this mechanism where, you know, you can wall run and keep your momentum going by 
sliding and all this other bullshit that's unnecessary. It's They've just added so much. Again, note the orange when I've killed somebody, how it sits there on the bottom of the screen. Watch this. Kill him. And then it flashes forward. So it draws out to the bottom of the screen. In the middle of the top, you've got notifications everywhere. The reason I've picked a bounty hunt game mode in specific was this is one of the things that was in the technical test. This is one of the pieces of annoyances that was reported on again and again with the amount of crap and clutter on the screen everywhere. Just look when, you know, the bounties are ready at the massive amounts of fucking text on the screen. And note as well that I am playing with all of the default call cards and all of that other shit turned off. So every piece of animation or every piece of flashing that you're seeing right now on the screen is default. It's what you cannot turn off. It's what's there regardless of what else you've turned off. There's nothing you can do about any of this shit currently on the screen. So where Call of Duty Ghost, it was still definitely appearing in the top left. Just tell me if you think this, like this bank's closed. Look how fucking huge that is. And it's very, like, this killed Star-Lord. Why does Star-Lord have to be bigger? And if it does, why don't you make the killed smaller? See the black on the right-hand side. See the big fucking dollar yellow sign to say I've got 87 credits. It's just such a fucking clusterfuck of colours. And not only is it a clusterfuck of colours, but again, note the blue and the orange. Note how they're so vibrant and strong, and they're in, for some reason they're in the top middle of the screen. They could be right, right at the top. But instead, they've got to, instead of having it where you, you know, your Titan is, they've got to make him just a little bit lower than that. You know, the middle of the screen, usually where you're looking up or down or you, you want to <laughs> try and kill somebody. They just figure, fuck it. Let's put, let's put these big fuck off things in the middle of the screen. Forget about the top right of the screen that we could stick all this fucking shit. The game itself, man, is a fucking joke. Like, this is being played now as well. This was on, like, the 26th of December or something. Note a player's on me, and immediately it's fucking flashing orange. I was pretty happy with some of this stuff that I've recorded here because it was some fun gameplay to do. But in saying it's some fun gameplay to do, it's still annoying having to get out and get these fucking batteries, man. At least they're not falling through the map like they fucking used to, but they still do fall through the fucking maps. Believe you me. So, anyway, in the bottom left, you can see the fucking... It's just... it. When you're comparing Call of Duty Ghosts to Titanfall 2, if you're taking them for just pilot and player or, you know, Call of Duty player sort of thing to this, Titanfall 2 fails. There is so much shit on the screen that Call of Duty Ghosts doesn't have by default. Granted, this is this game mode, but, I mean, what else are we going to pick? Attrition? If we pick attrition, we've got, there's no grunts and specters anymore. You've still got them, but instead of having them, you've got reapers. You can't walk over reapers. Someone suggested, why can't you walk over reapers? Why not be able to hack them as well? Or I would just personally think, take them out of the game mode. They don't belong in attrition, neither do stalkers. Why the fuck? Like this, this is a classic example of why batteries don't work. This guy in Movie Ninja, I give him mad credit. I punched him once then. And he'll, he'll give me a second battery a little bit later. But they want you to rely on teammates to give you batteries. So, like, this, it go, it's a first-person shooter we're playing, and it goes to a third-person animation. And the third-person animations are broken. Immediately, you can see he's given me a battery. I've barely taken any damage, and I've already lost the full, full shield, and I've lost a whole chunk of fucking health as well. Now... A little bit further down the track, because I'll we will have moved on to another point. But you'll notice that I've got a full shield. I get one shotted by a legion. The shield basically goes from full to none, and then instead of having a chance to do anything about it, to even eject, there is no no chance to eject. The game's that bad. A default mechanic like ejecting from your titan half the time you can't do because the game the titans are so paper. They're not. It's not Titanfall, it's fucking Paperfall, and it's just terrible. Again, we've got more pointless text on the fucking screen. It's orange and blue, we've got, even that orange and blue, we've got slightly different colours to say, you know, the very left of the orange or very left of the blue, that's the money that we've currently got if we currently deposited everything. It's just fucking terrible. I, I do not know what else I can 
say to people that aren't understanding why this game is so fucking terrible. If you haven't played the original Titanfall, I really, I'll play it with you. You really don't know what you're missing out on. Just send me an invite and I'll come and play. If you think Titan, like this now, right? I am glowing fucking orange. I've just deposited money and it's had the privilege of making me glow fucking orange. Like, what the fuck am I glowing orange for? Because a player can see me? If that's the case, then when you see the little dart and knife or whatever it is that's thrown at you, the sonar pulse to say, you know, there's players around, why the fuck is that on the screen as well? It's like it's, it thinks I'm so retarded. It's giving me two warnings. It's giving me me glowing orange. And this is where I was talking about. I just got, if you can tell me how I possibly could have ejected from that, Look, one shot and I was instantly fucked. I'm busy fighting a Titan because I don't have a regen shield and my Titan's already dead. It loses, the, the damage goes way fucking quicker. It's just so bad. So, so bad, man. And like all these kill the marks, Titan bounties, like they're bright fucking orange. It's, ah, uh, I cannot express how bad this fucking game is the battery mechanism in itself's broken if you jump off slightly before and this has happened this has happened countless times to people i've been playing with we all do it we put a battery in and because we're getting shot or that like we're in the heat of the moment we've got to put the battery in otherwise the poor guy's got no shield there's no regen shields by default there's no there's no walk over titan pickup batteries so we have to give them the battery if you jump off slightly, like a split fucking hair before you've put the battery or the battery animations completed, somehow it just completely reverses. And it, apparently the battery is not in the Titan at all. Or, you know, you've completely not pulled the battery out of the Titan. Just simple little things like that where you're so focused on a battery in a Titan. Like, that's the game. It's so focused on that that that's not even in the game. That's fucked, man. Like, you can't have a game relying on batteries and the batteries be broken. I've done a video where we, well, I've shown you the hovering batteries. I did that, I was playing the just a couple of games after this and the same thing happened in one game like 10 different times. We hopped on and I could see the battery that was being pulled out of me. It was off to the side or it was in front of me or um, I could see it on a friendly. I was putting a battery in a friendly and they could see the batch. It's just shit like that. Like, look how much damage the Reaper's just done. I've come out to kill the pilot. I went out there specifically to kill the pilot and it the Reaper finished my Titan off because there's no regen shield, because there's no buffer. That guy then, if he hadn't been quick enough, would have got the execution based on the Reaper having killed me because there's not enough. The time to kill in Call of Duty Ghosts, you can kind of have a gun battle, as you have seen. In this, you can't. It's just fucked. And Titans, the things that should be able to have gun battles, specifically can't. This here is even fucked, man. Watch how much damage a fucking tick does. I This really annoyed me. I put the battery in the guy that gave me the batteries and I was super grateful. I sent him a message at the end of the game saying, thanks for the batteries. We almost did it. And then he sent me a message back saying, yeah, we almost did or something. So he'd given me a couple and I was so glad I could give him a battery by the end of the game. And then that tick just fucked me. Like the game in itself, man, is just, it's a slow paced game. It's meant to be fast paced, but it's such a slow paced game when it comes to fucking titans because the titans are so weak you end up with groups of people huddled around because you can't run and kill people and because the titans are so weak the maps are smaller and because the maps are smaller they're much you, you can't navigate around as fast or you're consistently getting stuck behind reapers that you can't walk over or you're consistently getting stuck behind a group of titans that won't get out of your way because they're trying to get out of your way but you're blocking them it's just, there's so many things about this game that literally make me enjoy the Call of Duty ghost footage I've just got in front of this footage. Actually, miss Call of Duty ghosts. I miss Call of Duty ghosts more than I enjoy playing Titanfall 2. And I'm a huge Titanfall nut. Like, I love Titanfall, man. I literally love Titanfall. Before making this video tonight, putting this footage together, I've literally just played some Titanfall. 
games where I'm like 19 to 0 with, you know, a couple of Titan kills and shit like that. It's that in itself, the fact that you don't get enjoyment from this game, and even the fact people in Last Titan Standing, right? This tells you how bad Titanfall 2 is. In Last Titan Standing, it used to be four rounds. It was always four rounds. Four rounds to win, and, you know, if you lost three and you come back for the win and you ended up with four wins and they had only had three, that was one of the most epic fucking feelings. Even if they won, you won one round, then they won three and you won the next three. Shit like that was fucking wicked fun. And people didn't rage quit. Half of the reason that they've changed the rounds is because people are rage quitting from Last Titan Standing, so they've nailed it down to three. So now it's three rounds. And the same thing's still happening. People are still quitting from the three round games. Now, it's not because the games are going too long. It's because the game doesn't feel like the people that are participating. It doesn't feel like the terrible players. They don't feel like they're actually doing anything to help the team. They're either getting fucked up by Reapers. They're getting wrecked by not having a regen shield to give them a fighting chance against a you know team of people who are just nailing everything. There's just nothing about Titanfall 2 that improves. Even little things like taking away the wall hang from everybody. So nobody now can just wall hang. You've got to select that. That was a Titanfall default. They've The jump hover that I, I'm a huge fan of, the jump hover. Jump, hover, and then if you actually that or, you know, jump, you can actually jump hover. It's or hover jump or whatever you want to call it. That in itself should be a default. That should have been an addition. So everybody's got that. But instead of that, everybody now has to, you know, choose a perk or choose a fucking they've taken away guns, which Call of Duty series started doing. Instead of giving everybody ordnance and weapons, Call of Duty started getting worse when it made you choose a weapon with all the attachments over having, you know, just everybody has a primary, a secondary, a grenade and a stun grenade or flash grenade, ordnance, whatever you want to call it. And Titanfall 2 is making those same mistakes right now. It's taking away defaults that don't need to be taken away and adding stupid shit and changing stuff that doesn't need to be changed in order to try and make people enjoy it more. When in reality, they've completely removed the default gameplay we all fucking loved to make this a game where there's so much fucking orange on screen. If there was an orange clinic I could go to and take some sort of anti-orange pill or, you know, Morpheus rocked up and he said, you want the blue pill or the orange pill? I would know the orange pill was a fucking lie, like the cake is a lie. And I would fucking not take the orange pill. I would take the blue pill. The blue pill for days, son. The blue pill for days. So, it's just... It's so fucked, man. Like, I can't explain it any more than that. Just watch again. This thing flashes out of the... Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. I really apologize to the developers that made that for the back screen. Uh, for not enjoying Call of Duty Ghosts and giving it as much hate as I did. Titanfall 2 shits all over Call of Duty Ghosts as far as badness goes. Call of Duty Ghosts has a back screen where you can see the players and if their game of cards overflow, it actually, you know, side scrolls them so you can see every the proper name of the person. <laughs> Call of Duty Ghosts, you can see the kills, deaths, so you know if someone needs a hand. Call of Duty Ghosts isn't fucking terrible the time to kill call of duty ghost hasn't added these top three in and left the middle of the screen black and still look look at all it shows me is the scoring kills man titanfall 2 sucks if you're still playing it as any as like me because you've got friends that are playing it just stop let's all go back to titanfall man I, i'm done with titanfall 2 i <laughs> uninstalling thanks very much for watching i hope you guys can actually see for yourselves that Titanfall 2, the people that made it, please, 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 either don't make a third one or make Titanfall 2. Would the real Titanfall 2 please stand up? And here's just the message, just, just to show you cunts I'm not full of shit. Here's the message I'm sending this motherfucker. Good job with those batteries, mate. I didn't know what to write, because if I just wrote good job with those batteries, it'd be like I was, you know, trying to troll him for punching him and, you know... But he gave me a couple, man, and that's what teamwork is. Now, at the end of the game, if there were lobbies and stuff, 
I could probably have, you know, said something to him like, hey, bud, thanks for the batteries, you know, and maybe we would have become friends and played a couple of games together. But as you can see in the background, Titanfall 2 doesn't have lobbies. So straight up, it's um, fucked, fucked, fucked. And I'll just, I'm just going to wait on this video so he can send me the message back and you can actually see. I don't actually know if I opened it straight away. If I didn't, I'll, um, I'll just cancel this audio. But I might have. I'll just quickly see. I'm pretty sure he sent one back a little bit later. Anyway, as you can see, even their fucking loading screen, man, in Call of Duty Ghosts, it actually showed you the map, like the top-down view of the map. In Titanfall 2, there's no top-down view of the map. It's just like it is. Just fucking terrible. Look on the left. This is meant to be an epic thing, jumping out of the ship. And instead, everybody I've played with thinks this bitch is fucked. I don't know why she did... Why they even did her as one of the people. It's, it's fucked, mate. It's just a fucking joke. And here's a classic game of attrition, right? I could, I might even keep this fucking video going. Just so you can see, this is like the team deathmatch equivalent of Call of Duty Ghosts. Obviously, this hasn't been edited down or anything. But, uh, you get the idea. Like, on the top left now, you can see the fucking, why am I? Oh, yeah, there was a cone. I was red. There was a cone on, a round circle on me to say I was red for some reason, even though the players weren't, no one was on me. They were behind me. I'm glowing orange. Again, map hack detected. Does it need me to glow orange when it says map hack detected? Like, what the fuck's that about? It's just, um, it's just fucked, bro. I, I can't honestly express any more dissatisfaction with Titanfall 2 than I kind of already have throughout different videos. Throughout, I, <laughs> I have conversations with people while I've been playing stuff like Battlefield. I'm not a Battlefield person. Hate Battlefield. I enjoy Battlefield 1 over Titanfall 2. And I, I hate Battlefields. They're just not my cup of tea. Anyway, in having conversations with people in Battlefield, people I've just met, like friends of friends and that, or people you meet in lobbies, I'll be talking to them and they're like, you know, I'm saying, what's your opinion on Titanfall 2? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, it's good. Or, you know, yeah, it's, it's all right. And I... I straight away be like, you're full of fucking shit. It's not good. It's not, it's not great. I don't understand what they're kind of talking about. And then I'll try and say something to, you know, get them to go a little bit deeper on why they think, you know, it's good or it's great or whatever they say. And usually within five minutes, maybe 10 minutes of me bringing up points like the stuff I've gone over in this video, the lack of weapons, the lack of Titan customization, the lack of regen shields, the lack of just everything about this game, then they'll start actually being brutally honest and opening up about the things they don't like in the game. Like the fact you can't walk over Reapers, like the fact that you have stalkers in the game, like the fact that, you know, oh man, there's just so many fucking points. So even people that initially you start a conversation with about Titanfall that, you know, don't really know you from a bar of soap and are a little bit reserved as to just tell you the fucking honest truth, still think, you know, oh, it's good. They'll just tell you, oh, it's good. Probe them for a minute and they actually start opening up about the fucking flaws in the game, what's really wrong with it, why things don't work, why they do dumb stuff like change the amount of rounds people play, why the battery mechanism's all fucking flawed why even when trying to board friendlies it doesn't work as well or enemies it doesn't work as well as in the original titanfall the original titanfall i i have less rodeo time less rodeo whatever you want to whatever you preferred vernacular than riding zip lines in titanfall less time riding both friendly and enemy titans combined than i did riding zip lines or thereabouts so to give you an idea, that's huge. I don't ride people. It's just not the way I play, and I do well not doing it. In this game, it's a forced mechanism. You need a battery, you've got to ride someone. They're not just there on the floor. So having to ride people in this game and having ridden people in the first game, the very few times that I actually, you know, will want to or, you know, have done so, 
I and even going back now, having played this, and sometimes you see a Titanist out in the middle of nowhere, and it's just you by yourself in the original Titanfall. You think, fuck it, I'll give it a go. I'll, I'll ride him just because the hell of it. Half the time I have been saying that just to, you know, fuck around, you'll end up getting killed by some dumb bullshit, either, you know, the Titans drop smoke or, you know, you, <laughs> you've been, he's hopped out, tried to shoot you, and then you've been shot in the back by another player. Now, in Titanfall 2, when you try and jump on somebody, I actually have to do it two or three times with a friendly, like, you know, someone that you're playing with, because you jump on and then it kicks you off. You jump on and it kicks you off. Or it hasn't jumped on properly. It's like lagged you on. So even something as basic as the rodeo, rodeo, whatever you want to say, mechanism that is meant to be all about Titanfall 2 doesn't work as well as it did in Titanfall. A mechanism that I very, very rarely used in Titanfall and still don't use because it's not how I play. A mechanism that is now default in Titanfall wants it to be the default wants you to play like that it's just fucked man obviously that guy hasn't sent me the message back i'm just gonna skip forward in the video to where he does so you can see i'm not full of shit and again it's just the straight up honest truth that we're talking about titanfall 2 sucks as you can see i don't know what else i can say please send me invites to Titanfall and please stop playing a game that's fucking worse in every regard if you don't know why it's worse at this point and you want to debate the points with me join a party that I'm in and we'll do it there and if you're happy I'll even record your fucking audio of us having a talk and put it on the channel because honest to god there's no fucking things that I haven't heard about Titanfall 2 that I haven't then convinced somebody else about. If you're going to say it's something like the hero Titans are great or come on, let's talk because honestly they're not, there's nothing I haven't heard and there's nothing that I haven't said that the people that are so pro like all you people that are going to comment saying, Oh, it's good haven't ended up agreeing with after a little chat so uh yeah respawn you guys fucking made a terrible fucking game you ruined titanfall you don't care about the titanfall player base even your fucking 110 field of view and your angel city that you've had to bring back still only makes 10 maps your original game launched with 15 <laughs> and the maps are actually titanfall maps with regen shields where we can have a bit of fucking fun so um yeah, please, please, please don't make Titanfall 3 or make the real Titanfall 2 with full Titan customization, with regen shields. Make a game that actually involves skill with a time to kill that actually allows both players to shoot for a little bit that allows the skill of the gunplay, not just the first person to squeeze the trigger once and, you know, get the lucky kill. Because in squeezing the trigger, there's no skill involved in that. It's like me, if I just squeeze the trigger and expected the instant kill, that's fucking terrible. That's not, I don't get, I don't even as a player that's just squeezed the trigger and got an instant kill, I don't feel like I got the kill. I feel like I've just cheated somebody out of an actual gun battle. So even in trying to, you know, say, oh, but it, it, it works better, you, you're making the people feel cheated out of actually having a gun battle and the better player winning. So there's nothing about a fast time to kill that rewards anybody. If anything, everybody's skill long term gets worse because instead of having to like keep aiming, they just start squeezing the trigger which is what you're seeing happen in Titanfall 2. People won't be even looking at you and they'll squeeze the trigger and get it. It's it's terrible. As you can see, we've played this game now. You've seen a couple of games now of Titanfall 2, a couple of games of Call of Duty Ghosts. At this point, I've stopped sort of con comparing it to Call of Duty Ghosts because as you can tell, there's just, there's no reason to compare it at this point. Call of Duty Ghosts shits all over this. And I tell you, if 
the community for Titanfall ever disappears and Call of Duty Ghosts is still around, I would honestly go and play Call of Duty Ghosts over this. That is genuinely how I feel. Third person animations in a first person shooter. Batteries and stuff that you need, you're forced into a game style to play. A mechanism where the guns can accidentally be picked up so x picks up the gun instead of y i was super happy just here with this wall run that i did to get to the ship and i was i was laughing my head off and then this happens so you can even tell the drop ships in this game take less damage to kill than the fucking drop ships in the first one i can't I honestly, there's nothing I, and you can see I'm not, I'm not one of the players that's at the bottom of the scoreboard or I'm not one of the players that's, you know, a terrible, or just a terrible player doing really badly. This is coming from one of the players that I would say, you know, usually will win consistently. My kill death ratio in Titanfall is four. My kill death ratio in Titanfall two is three or thereabouts. 3.0 3.0 I think it was 3.1 and it might still be going down um, I'm really not too sure it's just a fucking like man even the boosts right and this is something like you start talking about with people and it come it triggers your brain boosts why the fuck aren't boosts locked to the pilot I don't play last hide and standing and especially when it tells you it's going to auto switch your boost to something else like amped weapons that's cool if you're gonna do that make the boost lock to the pilot that way when i choose the last titan standing pilot because there's 10 fucking pilot classes i don't i use one because i don't really play any other style like i pick a gun i like and you know go for it granted some people you know have five or six that's cool use whatever you want but if you're gonna do that don't make it so the boost is locked to that game mode or to, to you know, just a boost. Make it so the pilot that has, you know, you can have a last Titan standing pilot. And then that in that one, it might be a spare battery. And then in, you know, pilot versus pilot, it might be a fucking um, turret. Even stupid shit like that, man. And one of the big fucking points, why I'm on a bit of a roll here, I apologize, this has gone on for fucking ages now. This is going to be a long video. I apologize for that. But one of the last fucking things I really want to get off my chest, Colosseum mode, right? Colosseum mode. I've played custom matches of Titanfall where, like, you play 1v1. The first thing we do is put it on last Titan standing. And then you go and play Titan vs. Titan. That's the first thing people want to do, is play Titan vs. Titan. Now, for whatever reason, that doesn't exist. I think it's because they tried Colosseum mode with Titans. I, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt of being somewhat smart enough to have tried Titan vs. Titan. With all the other shit decisions they've made, I honestly wouldn't be surprised either way here. Maybe they didn't have the brain power to try it. Or maybe they did and they just realized without regen shields, it was fucking terrible. Regen shields at master difficulty in campaign and the Titan battles with the regen shields, walkover battery pickups in the Titan. That all works wonderfully. It, it works perfectly. They could literally take that and put it as a Colosseum mode and it'd be fucking epic. It'd be fun as fuck. But they don't because the regen shields aren't in the multiplayer so whatever reason titan fall has pilots versus pilots as part of a variety pack i don't i'm not interested in playing call of duty if i wanted to play call of duty i'd be playing call of duty i want to play titan fall variety pack with fucking titans in a coliseum mode in a game called titan fall I don't want to play with some fucking phase shift, some fucking default fucking frag grenade, and some fucking stupid EPG electrical one-hit gun. That's fucked. Especially not when it's just in a round fucking circle, man. Like, honest to God, did you guys even... What happened that day? You all ate the food on the platter in the meeting and just said, let's make a round fucking platter? And then, you know, with the fucking big-ass walls? Like, the fuck is that about, man? 
Make a fucking... And everyone I've suggested this to has been 100% in agreement. Make a Colosseum mode where Titan versus Titan and there's regen shields and there's battery pickups. Exactly like one of the first actual Titan battles, like Titan versus Titan battles you have in the fucking campaign on Master Difficulty. It fucking worked. It was fucking good fun. And everybody that I know enjoyed it. There's no reason for a pilots versus pilots. Anyway... It's getting super fucking late, and I know at this point I'm probably rambling beyond incomprehensible dribble, but Respawn, I was a huge fan of Titanfall. You even said in your video, regen shields one of the last things you figured out to add. Why the fuck did you make Titanfall 2 like this? I can't comprehend... And even the way your fucking managers and shit are running your community on your forums. I'm not sure if you guys know all this or if you're just 100% invested in the Star Wars game. I really don't know if you A, don't care about Titanfall anymore. If B, you've so invested in the Star Wars game because you can do to Star Wars what you originally did to like a Call of Duty. You can make it the vehicles epic and everything first person. Maybe that was why the Titans in this were third person because you already knew you were doing the Call of Duty game and the last Star Wars had first and third person. Third person was epic because you could see around corners and stuff, but uh, first person was still fun. Maybe that's what you're planning on doing is, you know, you wanted to try third person just from a different perspective. And that's cool, man. I'm 100% behind you if you're making a Star Wars third person, you know, first, third, whatever you're doing. That's Star Wars. This is fucking Titanfall. Titanfall 2 isn't Titanfall. Go back and play Titanfall. You can't see getting older, right? Straight up, you're just getting older. You're not as agile-minded. Fuck, I'm 28. I'm not even as agile-minded as some of these kids. But you've got to ask yourself... And I steal this quote from a documentary called Downloaded about Napster. What will make you the better ancestor? If you think it's making a shithouse fucking game where everything's low time to kill, you know, there's no actual skill-based play. It's all just, you know, heroes. There's no customization. It's all just default. You've taken out elements of the game that you know then you've made the game five years into the future and somehow have lost it all you, even your different titans look similar your two fat ones look similar your two thin ones look similar and your two thin ones look similar even as far as that goes i can straight away think of something to do give the you know one of the fat ones really thin legs and a really big upper body and give the other one the invert or you know there's a hundred different ways you could do it but my whole point is you don't, you're not making a game where we care about fucking looks and all that shit. Titanfall worked and amongst the community, we honestly feel you don't know what you fucking had. Like we feel you've taken Titanfall, you didn't know how fucking popular and good it was. We thought it was going to be the next fucking, you know, competition game. Everyone I've played it with genuinely thought it could be the next competition game because it was so fucking good. You needed skill to play it. You couldn't be an average fucking schmuck and beat somebody like myself. It just doesn't happen. And if it did, it was because, you know, you used a smart pistol or some other random dumb shit happened. But even then, because good players had stuff like regen shields, you could single-handedly look at the scoreboard, go, okay, this guy's just dying. I'll cover him while he gets his Titan. Then you're in a, you've got a second Titan. Then as a Titan, you take out another couple of Titans still covering your friend. And instantly you've turned the game just by looking at scoreboard and using a regen shield. That can't happen if those elements aren't in the fucking game. I cannot make it any fucking crystal, crystal clearer to you fucking idiots everybody that plays titanfall that i know that really likes titanfall hasn't bought titanfall 2 i bought it to originally you know give it a chance as some of the fucking idiots were saying adapt adapt i've tried adapting you know what i find i'm still playing titanfall titanfall 2 sucks
genuinely sucks. I've noted all the reasons, specifically in this video. If you can't handle the truth at this point about how fucking bad your game is, I don't know what else I can say to you. I hope in the future, you know, you guys just stop making video games. Retire. Take your money and retire. Let the youth make video games. Because you know what? As somebody who listens to a lot of metal music, it feels like all the revolutions that have happened around the planet and all the metal music that's come out, Titanfall was like the equivalent of all of that new energy. It was there. It was, it was in your face. But Titanfall 2 feels like you guys somehow took a car, went to a picnic, accidentally went over a bump, all the metal CDs and rock albums and music fell out of your car. And then you got to the picnic and you said, oh, fuck it, we'll still have the picnic. And you still had one CD there, one disc. And the disc was called ABBA. And the song that was on the disc that worked, all the rest was scratched, was called Money, Money, Money. Because literally Titanfall 2 feels like you've listened to ABBA, Money, 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 again and again and again. You guys need to get some fucking metal music back into your soul. You need to fire the people that did your analytics for Titanfall because they didn't have a fucking clue. You need to hire people that are actually going to test your game. You need to hire people that actually know how to port the single player into the multiplayer. You need to stop focusing on single player because it's 2016. Everyone I know plays multiplayer. There's a couple of people I know that enjoy single player stories from single player games. I'm one of them. I love the Dead Rising games because they're single player games. <laughs> when it comes to shooters, I don't even care for single player anymore. Campaign was, you know, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002. Maybe if you, you know, talk about something like Time Shift 2007. Multiplayer has been 2004 onwards, 2003 onwards, if you want to argue Halo 2, 2002 onwards, if you really wanted to argue the point. It's been all about multiplayer from then on. The fact that you guys caved and started making a campaign and then launch a game with fucking nine maps, complex and crash site really don't even count, so that's seven maps. Angel City doesn't count because it's just a port. And even the fucking, you know, oh, new graphics on Angel City. No, they're not. They're just bright and neon signs. They're terrible. There's nothing about Titanfall 2 across the board that's good. There's things that have potential, like the jump hover, that should be a default for everybody. There's a couple of other little things like that that are cool. But honestly... If you guys are ready to tap out, and I'm saying to, this to you in all seriousness, you can probably tell at this point, in all seriousness, if you guys aren't going to be good ancestors from this point forward, please stop making video games. Don't kill yourself. You guys still made Titanfall. Like, Titanfall was fucking awesome. Please don't kill yourself. Like, or commit suicide or anything fucking, you know, hunky. Titanfall was wicked. You guys made that live on that for the rest of your life you made titanfall but if you're not going to make a real titanfall 2 or you're making a star wars game please discontinue the titanfall franchise don't invest another dime in it i'm not sure if it's ea that have made you do the things you've done i'm i genuinely all the stuff i'm guessing is from what i've played what i've seen over the years and what i've come to kind of understand what might be going on you know you put two and two together and usually you're pretty close to hitting the nail on the head so if you're not going to make a real titanfall 2 please please discontinue titanfall discontinue the titanfall 2 servers 
and when people are still playing Titanfall after everyone's logged off Titanfall 2 realize that there were people behind you from day one that bought the game multiple times for multiple people to play that were 100% behind you in, even in all the shit they were getting in the forums leading up to the technical test leading up to the launch we are still your Titanfall fans we are still your fans but in, in all honesty you, you've lost us I am logging off this video and apart from highlight reels which I've got that much footage to go through from Titanfall 2 I don't even think I'm going to do a Titanfall 2 slaughtered video which I wanted to do from day one I just don't know if I even care enough anymore to put the energy into making a Titanfall 2 video. This is like three months down the track. <laughs> There's only so much you can take before you realize that you guys don't even give a shit. So without any further delay, please make a real Titanfall 2. Make the Titanfall 2 fans like myself deserve Make a Titanfall 2 that the fans thought you were going to make. Make a Titanfall 2. Make a Titanfall 2. Make a Titanfall 2. Otherwise, hang up your keyboards. Go and retire in Miami. And live off the fact that you'll always be known for Titanfall. Thank you for Titanfall. I genuinely genuinely am super proud to have played titan 4 for two and a half going on you know three years or it will be going on three years next march uh, it's nearly two two years nine months so we're getting close to three years for a game that launched on a single console and a pc down the track that wasn't launched in november it had a lot of problems as far as the dlc splitting the community it had a lot of problems as far as not getting a big Christmas pickup because Destiny had launched. It had all kinds of problems as far as losing people because they wanted more content. That was the only problems it ever had. There's dedicated fans still playing it, and if you send us messages, we'll tell you exactly why we're still playing it. This video does a pretty fucking good sum up of everything that's wrong. I'm terribly, terribly sorry I've had to make a video about Call of Duty Ghosts being better than Titanfall 2, but I've got to tell the truth, and at this point, that's the fucking truth. Sometimes the truth hurts, but sometimes the people that want you to succeed the most are the people being in your face, brutally honest, telling you the truth. Maybe it's some of the staff you've hired from Destiny from Halo, from COD, that actually secretly want you to fail. That's the reason that you've ended up with the shambles you've got. Thank you for Titanfall. Please make a real Titanfall too. And when you do, let me know.